And we're back to rate and explain a wine scene, this time from Better Call Saul. Let's see how they do. It is from the birthplace of Syrah, Cote Roti. This one is Rene Rostand's La Vendon. First off, yes, this is a real wine that you could go out and snag today. It will cost you around $200 though, as this is a pretty small producer and La Landon refers to a specific vineyard there in Cote Roti, which is already a pretty small appellation in Rome. The vineyards are so steep, you can't get tractors up there, so they use horses still to this day. Yes, this is 100% true. Sometimes the slopes are even too steep for horses, and so the grapes have to be harvested and carried out by hand. Do you get that, um, that meaty, it's almost bloody flavor? The soil is all iron oxide and manganese. This is a really cool wine detail. While most of the Syrahs from Northern Rhone, where Cote Roti is from, will have that bloody, sanguine, meaty savoriness to them, which makes them extremely unique wines. Um, La Landon, the vineyard there on that bottle, is from the Cote Brunet side of Cote Roti, which has soils that are even more iron rich and dense and dark, which means everything he's saying is exaggerated there in that bottle versus anywhere else in the region. I have a confession to make. Now to get a little bit picky here because it's my job, the wine in Gustavo's glass is way too light and way too translucent to really be a Northern Rhone Syrah. The Syrahs from that part of the world and just in general are pretty dang dark. They're dark purple, dark maroon, especially at their core. We should not be able to see through that glass. I went home that night and I bought a bottle. A 1978 coat roti. Mm -hmm. You can find a 1978 probably at auction for around $1,200, $1,300. All in all, I'm giving this wine scene a nine out of 10. They are losing some points for the inaccurate wine color and just how cheap that cork looks for how nice that bottle actually is. But they are getting some points back for the accurate wine detail trivia they threw in there. Thanks for watching and please comment with any other wine scenes you'd like me to rate and explain.